and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Kaikar. That's right, we're going to be playing Kaikar Winds Fury for the first time with this donation deck here. So what we have is we have a Jeskai deck with tons of spells, as you can tell, because Kaikar Winds Fury says that whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. So we want to cycle through a lot of different spells, create a whole lot of 1-1 one, one spirits. And to, to go along with Kaikar, we also have Murmuring Mystic as well, that whenever we cast an instant or sorcery, creates a 1-1 one, one bird. So that's that's kind of the goal of the deck here. Um, we, there's three Kaikars because it's legendary. Uh, also dies a little easier being three toughness. The Murmuring Mystic doesn't as much. So we got, we got our seven four drops that can make a whole bunch of flyers. And so what we're trying to do is land these things and then play lots and lots of spells um, and get a lot of flyers. Now with the Spirits... We can sacrifice them to add a red mana also. So if we do have a good amount of spirits, we can sacrifice them to cast like a finale of promise, for example, here. Um, or a, we can get a really big explosion, sac sacrificing each spirit uh, to add mana towards explosion as well. Uh, there's one rally of wings in here uh, to, to be, you know, if we get a bunch of flyers, you know, we can get this rally of wings to do a lot of damage. Um, but then, yeah, our, our card draw course, opt chart, of course, those are the two best ones. There's winged words also got a couple of those, which at three mana winged words, isn't great, but at two mana, it's really strong. Um, you know, just two mana draw to that doesn't get too much better than that. Um, so <laughs> our deck name should be the amazing flat flaps. That's a pretty good deck name. Rao gives us our card advantage and can be removal on big creatures also. Just a, a pretty good Planeswalker here. <laughs> Donald the Duck Forces. Uh, yeah, but that's that's uh, what our, our deck's all about. Um, let's see how it does. We got a bunch of different little threats over here. We got like a big Teferi, a Chandra. Um, so go with Flame Sweeps in the main because Flame Sweeps don't you know, they don't deal damage to our creatures with flying, so they don't kill all of our little birdies. However, there's some decks, like your Nissa decks, um, and even, like, your Elementals with, like, the O3s. Like, there's some decks, like, that you really want Clarion. So we got a couple Clarions over in the sideboard, so we can kind of team up Sweeps and Clarions um, there, even though the Clarions is kind of tough, because Clarion does kill Kaikar, so we have to be a little worried about that. But here we go, Disdainful Stroke is in there for like the elemental decks where it can counter your rock and Omnath and Golos and uh, Cavalier Thorns. You can just counter all of that kind of stuff. That's what we've got Disdainful Stroke in here for. So let's give this a try. Yeah, Sahili, Sahili is like another option, but Sahili doesn't make flying creatures. You know, it just makes little one ones on the ground, which are really easy to block. Um, and so it didn't go with Sahili. So it went with like Murmuring Mystic basically instead that gets to make more flying creatures. Yeah, Kaikar could have really been a 3-4. I think they could have made... Yeah, Kaikar really wanted to be a 3-4. All right, let's play a League. Let's see how we do with our first time playing Kaikar. Jeskai Kaikar. Yeah, not yeah. Didn't go with Imperion Eagle. We're not too focused on like trying to get tons of fly, like tons of flyers. We're more spell heavy, like where um, we're casting a lot. We're we're focused more on casting a lot of instants and sorceries, and getting the value of the one ones off of each spell. But we want to make sure we have enough spells, so we're not we're not really going with uh, other like too many creatures or anything. We want to have lots of instants and sorceries. More more bad draws with our with our Jun deck than it than that it didn't function. We faced a couple of red decks that had really good removal for our mana creatures, and then and we just kind of would get stuck on lands and could and would draw way too many high mana cards that we couldn't play. So 
So I could pay two life. Paying two life saves two life. And also just frees up a mana for a later turn. Because it frees... If frees two life because it's the one damage here, but then I'm not going to shock the Firebrand next turn. Next turn I'm probably playing like Charter Course or maybe like Justice Strike on something bigger. Um, so that we actually save the mana for the next turn as well. Hey, John, get in the gifted sub from the boot. So many lands. All right, we'll keep the temple to be able to scry. Get rid of those steam vents. And that gets us to our second sub goal of the day. Hitting two sub goals. Y'all are awesome. Love seeing all the hype boats in chat also. Thank you so much, Boots. And John, I hope you enjoy the gifted sub where you get to... It makes everything cost a little less. Let's just kill that so things don't cost less. We get to use those emotes in chat. So both, yeah, yeah. So we have the sorcery instant. So yeah, we can go like Kaikar, and then like finale for. Ugh. I guess maybe we need a finale first. Yeah, we can't really let them have Krenko and attack with Krenko. Glad we didn't give Krenko haste and everything, though. There you go, Matthew. Nice. Yeah, we got goblins today. Oh, man, this Chain Whirler... That card's going to be so mean against my deck. Oh, that card's going to be so mean against our deck here. So I think I want to have expansion ready to cop... Expansion ready to kind of protect Kaikar. I know it, we cast every all of our spells, and then you know our four drops don't do as much. But I'm because so, I think I was thinking that like we play Kaikar, they just use a three damage burn spell and kill it. But then I was like, well, we could expansion that three damage burn spell, and then kill the Chain Whirler. If we copy it. All right, Krubbish. Take care. Maybe we should start with the 1-5. It's harder to kill. I can also just explosion for three next turn. To kill Chain Whirler. Perfect. Birdie. So now our mystic doesn't die. Yeah, the opponent needs to let the chain whirler do first first strike damage first and then do that. Hmm. So they're saying good game. 
Because they think that we are going to... Kill them, but I'm just flooding out here. We have so much mana that we can cast anything in our deck with Kaikar next turn. I mean, except for Ral, I guess. Mm. I didn't want Kaikar to get bolted. Looks like that, that decision may cost me this one here. If we would have played Kaikar, we would have saved two life, been able to block, um, you know, like a Firebrand, save two life, and you know, kill that. And then we would have been able to play Rao this past turn also. Well, that was cool animation. I have any life link in here? I already played like my two big spells, my my explosion. Yeah, I saw Matthew. That's really that's too bad. Yeah, that's definitely sad. There we go. Yeah, we're at two. Not ideal. I'll admit. Let's see what you got. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Wrong row. This this one doesn't copy. Kill a spirit. Kill a spirit. Yeah, do it. Darn it. Kill the spirit. No, don't kill the birdie. Don't kill the bird. Kill the spirit. No, don't kill me. All right, so we will sacrifice a spirit, add red mana, shock, <clears throat> shock the Lord. Let's 
Sweet. We got to do some. some we got to do something cool with Kaikar. Flame Sweep now because of Icon Ancestry was gonna give was gonna grow their creatures. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Yuck. Three lands in a row. Well, I can't really attack with everything. You stay back, and then. Cause that's six. That's ten. Let's go with nine. There's definitely haste goblins. Bleh. So close. So those are coming in. Clarions are coming in. I don't think I want time wipe, though. Let's play this coil. That's still a pretty cool game. I'm gonna get rid of the spell pierces. You get rid of the veto also. Against their deck, we're gonna have to be tapping out a bunch and killing a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be hard to hold up Dovin's veto also. Yeah, we were, we could not have countered the uh, Bane Fire. It was uncounterable. Um, I'm going to get rid of Rally of Wings. And a justice strike. We can keep this. See if we find a shock land. Um, it's a land. Hey, Candace, good evening. Do I want to just get rid of a kite car? I mean, I don't, to answer that question. But it's the card to get rid of, though. No, I'd say that the third time slot usually no, this this was really early. I'd say the third time slot usually starts around seven.
or like six six thirty. So we get a two for one, but uh, it's not really quite that because a ringleader. Ringleader is really strong against removal spells. Uh, and so are these chain whirlers against Kaikar. Looks pretty bad for us right now. I guess I really should just play this. We have a backup flame sweep. This thing of like saving, like letting them play the two chain whirlers and then going flame sweep, copy it with expansion or something, but I really should just play it. One more land. And go Kaikar with something. They got plenty of lands over there, though. It's not the worst for me. I didn't expect to actually draw the land. We haven't been drawing land at all. We lost to Teamer Elementals with Sultai. Well, that's great. We just got a lightning strike out of their hand. They just discarded a lightning strike. That's awesome for us. Oh, uh, I put that land in front of the, the cool animation. Kaikar does have a really cool animation, though. cards. We need new cards. Maybe 24 is too many lands for this deck if we're just going to be cycling through so many. We've already seen 12, 13, 14. Or no, that's just 12. 
I think Hawkeye's around 11 or so. Oh, okay, yeah, we discarded these two. So that's 14. So now that's number 15. So that's number 16. I got punished really hard here for not just for playing the tap land and not holding up flame sweep. Let's go back in random orders. Punished really hard for not holding up flame sweep, which I certainly could have had the mana. Ugh. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Barely hanging on here. Barely hanging on. We've gone through 18 lands so far. We've seen zero Murmuring Mystics. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. All right, gone through 19 lands. Twenty lands. There's only four lands left in the deck. It's tough to cast Shock whenever they're playing War Chief and Ringleaders. Really need that instant speed removal. Well, that was unpleasant. There we go. Huh. Hope we get something good. All right, so twenty-one lands. Twenty two lands. To be fair, we've all there's only thirteen cards we haven't seen, so there's only two lands in the, the last thirteen cards.
Should have another Ooh, Clarion that's in that's here, too, that we can maybe gain some life with. All right, so that's 23 lands. You know, Clarion, obviously, we would just be doing the, the gain life part if or when we find that. We won't mill out. Well, that's the worst case. That's the worst card for us to see. Because <clears throat> that draws them a lot more cards. Watch out. Rail ultimate. Seven cards, easy. Yeah, this is like our late game finisher. I, I took it out that like helps us a little better there. Um. Do we want Rally Wings? Do I want a Chandra? All right, I guess Justice Strike's just better than Lava Coil because it's instant speed. They don't have, oh, they, they have, I guess they have one creature, Krenko. The Coil would kill. All right, yeah, we won a game. There we go. We, we're on the board, kind of. We had a game, at least. No, this isn't a Thousand Year Storm deck. spell. I really want to keep the instant speed ones up because of their, because uh, of all their haste. So that's why I'm keeping those in hand. Okay. 
Jeskai Kaikar. Or Jeskai Kar. Frenzy's a real problem. Frenzy's a real problem. Hey Ness, what's up? Glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel and everything. Welcome. Yeah, day's going real good. But yeah, thanks thanks for joining. Yeah, Frenzy and Ringleader don't work too well together. That is true. Kaikar. Why can't you be red permanent? Black or red? <clears throat> Exile target, black or red permanent. I think we'll put the four mountains down to the bottom. That's kind of perfect for us. So... I know explosion for two would kill that, but you know if we draw a land here, which we have been just drawing tons and tons of lands, we could draw more cards with explosion than just two. So there we go, winged words hits a couple more land drops. All right, so we got two lands over there. We got one land in here. Ugh, they finally got a land. I don't want them getting land, because that obviously the more lands they have, the more spells they can play in a turn. Um, so we're going to go Explosion, draw four in this, this next turn. That would require me to shock. Yeah. Hey, Stacey, thank you. I know. I always think this is like Celestial Purge. But it is not. So where is our Kaikar? There's our Kaikar. We found Kaikar. Wow, awesome animation. Made sure not to cover it up that time. We can discard a, a sacred foundry.
They're like looking at all those cards in hand and looking at this frenzy. Yeah, we got this God's Willing to protect our birdie. The biggest card that I don't want to see is Chain Whirler. Killing my spirits. My car looks so like regal. Yeah, heroic's kind of thing, kind of a thing. Like the, you know, there's that the feather deck. Yeah, I, I agree. I think they could have had Celestial Purge, Sorcery Speed with no scry, you know, no scry. But I guess they wanted to do Creature Planeswalker and and have scry. Yeah, I think our opponent's doing the Salt Rope stuff. It seems like our opponent is a person that would do that kind of thing. Yeah, we can sack the spirits for mana um, if there is a chain whirler still and and be able to strike. I think Hawkeye is he's around eleven, maybe twelve, right around there. Oh, he's back there on the couch. See him? Back there, he's right there. Pet, 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 pet. <laughs> he's laying there in the loaf of bread pose. You know how guys or how cats can do the the bread pose. Where you're just like, is that a loaf of bread or a cat? One oh. All right, Kaikar did its thing. Yes, Frenzy is forward to destroy. Yeah, our four four mana three three beat mono red. Let's get rid of a red white land. Blue white? That eh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that out for sure, Matthew. Yeah, if if you are anybody, if you're a member of the Discord channel, there's a room for there's a a pets room where you can put pictures of your adorable pets. Always like. Seeing it's mostly all cats and dogs, but they're all great. Looks like our opponent's situation is somewhat dire. Yeah, there's the Discord. Say thanks. There's the link to the Discord channel there for everybody. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can join it too. There's a link to the Discord in the description. Uh, there's a place where we talk Throne of Eldraine cards and, and talk about your brews and everything else. All the different formats, historic, modern, legacy, limited, everything. I guess I should have played Mystic last turn. Yeah, I should have played Mystic last turn. But it worked out it worked out well for us that I didn't play Mystic, that I had Flame Sweep up instead, because otherwise this Aerialist would have been huge. Uh, if you Speaking of Aerialist being huge. I will take it 
This is but a beast of my power. Do I want to kill Soren or kill this aerialist? I think it's probably too risky to keep the aerialist around. Do not defy or we can pressure Soren with a bunch more of these flyers. Yeah, exactly. It'd be tough to kill the, the aerialist in the future. Thank you for your service. We would have like Justice Strike would be our main thing that we'd be looking for. That will cost you dearly. So many cards. Where's Kaikar? I cannot be killed. I kind of sort of feel, I'm starting to feel like we should just have 23 lands instead of 24. Maybe like an extra winged words. That card's been pretty good. Or just like a, I don't know, some kind of big removal spell or something. Or an extra extra explosion. I guess if we're taking out a land, explosion's a little worse. Yay. Because we do have a lot of velocity in our deck, so we flood out a lot because we get to see so many cards. My bird. It's a bad vampire. Hmm. Cool. Was it just whenever this attacks, I have to discard a card? I should have kept that land in hand that I just played. No attack.
We need to draw Rao. I need a I need a third Rao in the deck. Rao has been awesome. I need a third Rao. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Scry. Yeah, we gotta find Justice Strike to take out that Haunted High Tower. Do I do that right now, or do I wait a turn? So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or wait, so, no, because these are 3, so, so 3, 6, 9, 12, plus 5, so that's 17 damage. I guess I wait... Probably only have one turn though because we have to discard a card every t every turn to this haunt of the high tower. Cause I can't just keep keep card in hand all day. If they attack, they die. They can't attack. Well, those things can attack. Sure, that that's that's fair. We need to just draw any any instant speed removal spell we win. Doesn't matter, like a shock, a lightning strike, anything. Because we can just attack and whatever they block, we just kill our we kill our attacker and then they die. We didn't draw anything though.
So many lands. So that's 12, 13, 14. Okay, just 14 lands so far. Yeah, it was kind of our turn. Really glad they didn't just activate Icon of Ancestry on their turn, otherwise they would have had this Knight of the Oven Legion that would have been able to get in damage as well. Ugh. I gotta do this so I can have lethal. Yeah, this is my best chance of winning. Whoa! Why didn't it let me sacrifice? It just went straight to damage. I, I just did the blocking and it didn't even let me sacrifice. And I top decked the 15th land anyway. But we had to have, like, cause assuming like the haunt blocks Kaikar, we need five power in the air. It let me sacrifice all the other times. It just didn't didn't let me do it that time. Every other time it did though. Bleh. I guess the other time, okay, so the other times I had a castable spell, and that time since I didn't have a castable spell, it was a mana ability and it didn't give me the option. It's all right, good brother, it's all good. I could bring Puppy in here. If y'all wanna see Puppy, I'll, I could bring her in after this game. Or at least after I sideboard. Those artifacts are kinda of tough to Beat going long. And we just kind of ended up in a spot where time wipe looked good, but I don't know if I really want time wipe overall. I should probably play that Teferi for the artifacts. No, the longer the game goes, the worse spell pierces. So, like, spell piercing, like, Soren or Icon, while you can get it on, like, turn three, you're not going to get it later on in the game.
uncultured monsters. I bestow a mighty curse. Well, this is not looking good for us with seven lands already. We already ditched once. We've gone through eight lands. Nine lands. Nine lands already and 14 cards. Probably should have boarded out like seven lands. Thirst for life. Darn. I bestow a mighty curse. And I guess if I would have thought that the that you know we wouldn't have anything to do for a long time and so that the battlefield would end up like this then we would need time wipe so I should have time wipe in here my bloodline flows through you I shouldn't have let that resolve because now it has life link and so they're going to gain seven life but We have flooded so bad every game. Ten lands. Ten of the twenty-four lands already. You know, like one time we're like, alright, that happens. But every single game. It's just lethal with sacking. Twenty-four lands, thirty-six spells, and we draw twelve lands, half of the lands, and six spells, a sixth of the spells. Gross. Yep, the vampires were too powerful for our lands. Yeah, we had six spells, and yeah, two were duressed away. But didn't get to actually cast six spells. What is this? I always have just such an abundance of lands to discard. But we don't have an abundance of lands here. Yeah, so there's there's the link there. There's a lot of so for donation decks, that's that's the link. Or um, you can also click on the banner down below, and there's a lot of information there as well. But yeah, just it's a twenty dollar donation if you'd like to see your deck played on stream, and uh, you just need to let me know what uh, what what day you want me to play it, what time slot that day that you want me to play it, and. Um, and that's about it. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll play your deck and then talk about it afterwards. And hmm. all right, which one of these are we killing? After we start going with Kaikar, Murmuring Mystic Priest isn't as scary. But before we do, it can be. Knight can also be scary. I think we get rid of the Priest, though. Yeah, I think we get rid of the Priest. That's just creatures you control, right? Yeah.
Yeah, Matthew, that sounds like that sounds really good. That's Kaikar. Holding the flaming ball of fire. Or the orb. The fire orb. Not even attacking with Knight of the Ebon Legion. Alright, this looks pretty good for us. Mm. No blocks. Yeah, that's Mardu. Black, red, and white, like what our opponent's doing. That is Mardu. All right, so we just have lethal here, so it's all good. We had Rally of Wings plus Copy Rally of Wings we could do also for even more damage. All right, another red, black red deck. Let's get these Devout Decrees back in. They've been like our MVPs in the sideboard. Certainly want Coil in this matchup as well. I think we're going to take out Danny DeVito and the Spell Pierces. And let's get these Clarion. And also, and then what are the last two cards we want to take out? I like all these cards. I don't want to take out two. I don't want to take out any of these. Maybe the Justice Strikes. I think those got upgraded with Coil and Devout Decree. There, there's a oh, there's a there's a bug sound, uh, a sound bug. Right now, I didn't notice. Okay, yeah, I'll res restart the client then after this match. My bad, I didn't know. Yeah, honestly, her end, maybe we should have. That's that's honestly not a bad idea that I was on the draw, so I should remove a land, because we know how to draw lands over here.
Could be kind of bad. That could be kind of bad. I don't want to let them be able to untap and be able to activate Knight, of course. Oh, that's really bad. happy as a Hellion to start some say hi to my fiery friends. Real bad. Okay. How am I doing this? I don't think I am doing this. I don't. I. I mean, we got a lightning. I mean, we got a lightning strike devil. But then a shock doesn't really save me. I don't witness look pretty good there. At least we can see that animation again on our way out the door. All right, let's cut a land. Even though we're on the play, let's still just cut a land. We're just going to bring in more cheap interaction. And cut a Hallowed Fountain. Ooh, yeah. That's a good Eldraine brew. Mayhem Devil with food. Get to eat some food and ping some stuff while we're eating. I like it. So that Justice Strike, I put that Justice Strike in for the Hallowed Fountain. <clears throat> so this could have been Hallowed Fountain. Which I'm thinking the Justice Strike is probably doing more for us than that Hallowed Fountain did. pretty good about finding more land. Yeah, there... Um, if you click over to the info panel on mobile, like, instead of, like, the chat, you know, click on over to the info section, there's a, a link there to subscribe, but I also just put it there in the chat. So, yeah, I think you should be able to go through that. There. Meditation anyway. So usually the sub battles are every they're, they're the last Saturday of the month. So every month the last Saturday of the month. However, I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing another sub battle. I don't know exactly when yet. I'll be doing another sub battle before rotation. So you can play the decks that you like uh, right now during rotation before before they leave one last time. What's up, Brian McGee? But of course, I'll, I'll announce that in the you know in the Discord channel under the announcements there, like I always do. And I'll have.
have it up here on the screen a few days before also. Justice. If you're just watching the stream, you'll all say like sub battle day whenever. But we'll be doing another one of those at some point. A little bit a little bit before rotation. Probably like that the days leading up to that, so. Um Wait, cancel. Wait, Devout Decree doesn't actually get that. That's that planeswalker is white. I am not quite indestructible. Yeah, Deckmaster's working again. I guess there was a setting in Arena that I needed to enable <clears throat> to get up to work again. Stop. I am here to aid in the assault. I will lend you my strength. student we can do this together I think Vraska Bogari Queen friend. has a lot has a lot of value post rotation because the next set has two really great looking three mana planeswalkers. There's already a lot of very good three mana planeswalkers right now. Hey, Clam Burglar. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Hey, these little guys are great. Hmm. Work so well together. Prepare for battle. Hmm. Yay, no shock. So many birdies. Now things are getting heated. So 
So many birdies. I don't have enough swears right now. Just in case they'd suddenly have a shock there. Who knows? We want to get the Chandra out of there, though. Wow, Legion's End is really rude. Your light will cleave the darkness. We still have lethal, even with blocking here. I mean, I guess I should have played the other Murmuring Mystic first. In case, again, if they have shock. No shock. And there we go. One shot kill. Victory. All right, so is the sound bug still there? Should I reset? Or if we we leave the match, does this does it go away? Yeah, that rally's been really good for it is. Okay, it's still there. All right, we're resetting. Hey, we got a host from Tapped Out Net. Welcome everybody. We're just resetting because of a little sound bug on Arena, but we are playing some Jeskai Kaikar. So we are getting Kaikar Winds Fury, I believe the name of that is. Oh, whoops, I did hypos. I meant the hellos but yeah welcome everybody from tapped out nets stream <laughs> welcome to the jank jungle <laughs> there we go all right jeskai kaikar we're currently two and one in this league seeing if we can get some more wins before we pick up our second loss c wiley with the support thanks so much c wiley y'all are awesome so many subs today so many. There we go. Um, I'm always, so I do donation decks where, well, yeah, we can keep this, where people donate to see their deck on stream, but I, I'm always willing to hear suggestions and stuff, but no uh, guarantee, though. You're right, Chief Seth. We're doing a four to eight hour stream. <laughs> oh, song suggestions. Song suggestions. Gotcha. Um, I, yes. on For the, the song suggestions, easiest thing. Um, to do... Like, if you want to get songs on the playlist, there's a, a place at the bottom of the Discord channel for song suggestions. You can put any and all songs that you think would be good for the playlist. Um, put them there. I'll listen to them later. If I like them, I'll put them on the playlist kind of thing. I'm not doing a 48 hour stream. I'm doing a four to eight hour stream. Just close. Are we gonna finally play a game where we don't hit tons of land drops? No, we're not. But yeah, thank you so much, CY. Thanks for taking the, taking your time to do that to sub with Twitch Prime. Glad you like all the YouTube videos and everything. Thanks for coming over here and 
linking your Amazon Prime account and doing that. I, I really appreciate it. Kaikar is not actually going to survive if we play Kaikar, right? Our deck would be a, a pretty good Augur of Bolos deck. Yeah, I mean, we should be pretty even against Drake's. It should be a, a pretty, pretty even matchup. What's up, Koala Bear? But they they probably have like a bunch of flame sweeps too, though. The cards that we have in our, in the hand right now aren't uh, aren't really very good. Do I ever do draft streams? I don't. No, just all all constructed. Need to grow that crackling drake for me. Because, you know, like, rally isn't good unless we already have, like, a bunch of creatures. You know, like, unless we're already doing our thing. So we just have the one rally in here. It's just a finisher. Phoenix is a lot tougher because we don't. We don't exile. I could see Sultai Control being a thing. With Sultai Control, you gotta see if it has um, good enough ways to end the game, to finish the game out. That's what you have to worry about with Sultai Control. Usually, like, Sultai's got, an, got like, good um, interaction and everything, especially, you know, like, uh, you're talking about post-rotation, still does. A lot of good black removal, then you have trophy and... You have some card advantage with blue. You got Thought Erasure. Our opponent drew all of their Shard of Courses and Ops and Tormenting Voices and stuff like that. We did not draw our Op. We drew one Opt. We didn't draw any of our charter courses or winged words or things like that. So opinion time. I think Augur is garbage and is it Phoenix? Yeah, it's it's not good. I mean it it gives you a blocker. Like the best thing it does, like it's gives you the blocker against aggro. So it's, it's how valuable that blocker is against aggro. We haven't seen any sorceries at all yet, though. For Kaikar or for a finale of promise. Hey, Twitch, 
with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, Twitch. Thank you so much for the support. No, I don't think electro the electro field the the defender wall would be better. No, I think Augur Bolas is better than that card, but I I don't really lo love the creature either way. But I think Augur Bolas is better than that card. I mean, Augur's been great at, here in this matchup. I can't complain about it too much. They have 29 cards left. They've gone through 31. Now 32 cards. We've gone through 15. They've gone through an extra 17 cards. Shows you what happens when you do draw your card draw. Because then you find more. What happens when you don't? You just sit there with nothing to do. Like me right now. The timer? They're at 24 minutes. That timer's not going to come into play here. There you go. Good job. You went knights in, in the bands. We're doing the Jund one. That's the... I had a, a request to do the Jund one. I haven't played any of them at all yet. No, I don't necessarily think that Kaikar needs to cost one less. I... I think it would be nice if Kaikar was a 3-4. Hmm. Yeah, and that is true. It's mostly made for Commander and for Brawl. And yeah, it couldn't really make it cost one last for those. Or at least it'd be rough. But I think it could have been a 3-4. Hey, Ben and Donner! Absolutely. Thanks for the donation deck there. Alright, when, when would you like me to play it? Still have a whole bunch of burn in their hand. Um, I have a donation deck tomorrow for third and fourth spots. So I could do first or second spot tomorrow. Um, if either of those sound good. Oh, it looks like it bugged out and changed my graphics to be more. It improved my graphics. Need to put it back down a little bit so we don't time out. All right, so getting getting some exile removal in here. Uh, 
I think this is probably the worst matchup for Kaikar. Or it's a really, really bad one. I think I'm gonna replace Kaikar with different with with different threats that we can actually play. Monday? Okay, yeah. Monday works. Do you have a, a time preference for Monday? This is 64. We want to take out shocks. Oh, the flame sweeps. First slot. Okay. All right, so Monday, first slot. It's a bag of holding deck. Awesome. Cool. Jeskai Bag of Holding. I like it. Alright, saving it here. Right, I'm going to write that down. So, uh, first Monday. Yeah, Kaikar is our key card in the deck, but I did sideboard it out. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to the donation deck. Wait, is there something with... Subway with sub September? Is there some special? There's. Oh yeah, there's half price subs this month. Um, on Twitch, does does Subway have a a special or something? Subway has plus 10% bits if you use their icon for donation. Oh, okay. Subway is sponsoring the half price subs. Speaking of subs, thanks for continuing your sub here during September. Okay, just the two Phoenixes. now.
don't think I should have. I, don't know if I should have spell pierced the charter course to make where they just pay the two, and then it would have been harder to get back these phoenixes for the turn. I do want to land. I don't really want to shock land. But I do want to land. But I feel like we're probably going to draw another land. Which we did. So I do want to be able to Disdainful Stroke. The reason why I brought Disdainful Stroke in is because I feel like my opponent... like Obviously they have the Crackling Drakes. Which are really good to counter. But I feel like they were going to have Kefnet as well. And Kefnet was going to be a pretty big problem. So I wanted to um, have that against Kefnet as well. Thanks, Caesar. Continuing the gifted sub. More birdies. Attack of the killer birds. My opponent's like, but I usually attack with the killer birds. Pecked to death. Yay, no dive down or nothing. Not sure if I needed to put that other murmuring mystic down to the bottom or not. <laughs> Our deck needs Safara. I have one rally of wings in the main deck. I think I sideboarded it out though. But so yeah, if we get something like this, we can rally of wings. We got to Kill somebody from 21 when we had seven birds with a rally of wings last match. Okay. We're gonna play Fry over Shock. Fry over Shock. We saw Niv Mizzet that also dies to Fry. <laughs> Alfred Hitch Alfred Hitch ah, Alfred Hitchcock would be proud of this deck. <laughs> yeah, Decree was awesome for us. Decree's been like great every match. We just keep on getting paired against red and black decks. Keep 
Bad charter course. Sorry, doing a little work here also. Well, we could use removal for a drake. Yeah, might as well keep it. Of course, if they don't have a drake, then we'll feel bad for that. Okay, so they do have a drake. All right, now we, we need lands also. Wow, we're actually playing a game once where we don't have lands. Um, hmm. I think I have to get rid of Dovin's Veto, Charter Course, or Opt. Or the up. I think we need to keep the Mystics because, like, if we play one Mystic and they fry the Mystic, we're gonna want a backup Mystic. Hey, Jay Gomez. Do I have to discard something? If I just copy that, I don't need to discard anything, right? I'm pretty sure I don't need to discard anything. I just draw two. Because I'm not casting it. Yeah, I just draw two. Cool. I'll turn expansion into a draw two. Especially where we're at. Good. No Phoenix discard either. Good. Opponent doesn't want to grow their crackling drake so I can kill it. Um. I feel like that's getting fried. Ooh, no fry. Brawl is just going to be with standard. So Brawl is just going to be with Throne of Eldraine plus the s supplemental Brawl cards from Throne of Eldraine plus the other cards that are still in standard. You know, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, War, War of the Spark, Corset 2020. So Brawl does not use the historic card pool. It uses standard card pool. I like an untapped land that's not a shock land. I don't want a shock. I'm not fighting over that. We'll fight over this, though. All right, now we got some more birdies. 
We got five cards in hand. They got a flat flap. to surrender now I am with thoughtfulness before action all right so we got another negate but we can uh, we can spell Pierce negate And then we're going to recast Justice Strike from the graveyard. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. Justice Strike. All right, good. It's working. I was not prepared for this. Never miss it, such a pain. Ooh. Alright, so I have to I have to mine a Chandra first. Oh, but then we have to cast it immediately, don't we, with Chandra? Still worth it. It gets them an extra card and an extra ping. Oh, I get to respond to the trigger? Perfect. I'm so glad I did full control. Perfect. I don't want to let them just kill, like, you know, ping off my Chandra. It's 
Perfect. Yeah, we get to activate. Activate Chandra, held priority. And then cast the Fry in response. So they're gonna radical idea, so they get to draw an extra card. Yep. The worry was casting the winged words with the Niv Mizzet in play to let them draw an extra card and do an extra damage. I am glad that they're killing one ones and not killing me. I would have been a lot more scared if they were just like doing damage to me the whole time. Well, three mana Chandra was incredible for us this game. Taking out Crackling Drake plus drawing two cards. Fight fire with fire. Well, there's some good cards. Okay, no Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This is a murder of crows that we got here. down to two mana. GG's. Well, game one made that look pretty rough for us, but we had a lot better hands games two and three. Unfortunately, we had to sideboard out our key card, a kite car. But... We still got there. Murmuring Mystics were incredible. <clears throat> yeah, a group of crows is called a murder of crows for some reason. Yeah, we I got the gems for reward there because, so we got a rare card for our reward. It upgraded to a rare. But whatever the rare was, which we don't know what it was, but whatever it was, I had four copies of in my collection. And so instead of getting a fifth copy, which we can't use because you only use four copies in any deck, then we got gems instead. Don't love that we I don't love that we don't have any card draw. Like this is definitely a hand that that could end up being just too clunky and not getting there. All right, have a good night, Adriel. Really, a group of rats is called a mischief. A mischief. A, a mis mischief of rats. I did not know that. Well, unfortunately, this looks like this is Esper Control, where Justice Strike and Flame Sweep won't be doing too much. Hopefully, they're playing Esper Hero, where they have Hero of Precinct 1, and we get to Flame Sweep. Hero of Precinct 1. Yeah, I didn't know that. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. Alright, so we're going to be taking out God's Willing in this matchup, because as you can see, they have 
And Teferi, God's healing doesn't do anything. The focus, meditate, and prepare. That's more like it. <clears throat> I think trading shock for an impulse is is a worthy trade. <laughs> a group of ferrets is called a business. You have a business of ferrets? Is that real? I'll protect you. That doesn't seem real. You can have a business of ferrets. Just checks, that's real? Wow. You have a business this of ferrets. Might be a bad idea. Hey, Danny with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. I wish they would let me concede before that happened. We found our our only other good card in the deck. I'm getting too old for this. We're gonna have a lot better chance after sideboard though. We have a lot of good sideboard cards to bring in. Our hand will look a lot better than what it does now. Citadel is completely fair. Let's try this. So we're going to have Fry, Chandra, Chandra, Vito, Vito, Teferi. Obviously, if they have a Teferi in play, then we don't get to do too much Vito stuff. Um, I guess that's kind of about it. We don't have too much great stuff here, but we get to get rid of these Flame Sweeps that we had and the Justice Strikes. And Finale of Promise gets shut down by Teferi, but basically everything in our deck gets shut down by Teferi, to be honest. Like Finale does, God's Willing does. Um, take out Rally of Wings for sure. So I think I like... Um, I think I like, mm, yeah, Narset stops a lot of our stuff too. Sorry, I think I like Shock and Lightning Strike because those can target the Planeswalkers. I 
go with the God's Willing. This is kind of a control deck. Kind of. And a group of lemurs is a conspiracy of lemurs. That sounds about right. <laughs> Charter coursing now means I like it's basically look at the top two cards and put one into your graveyard, one into your hand. That's fine. Alright, I'm glad I'm glad we did it. Yeah, Kite Car's been fun. Hey, Dr. Tobias Funk. Welcome, welcome. All right, a lot harder to counter Teferi on the draw. But that's where we're at. Thanks for the resub there. So that's sub number 29 on the day. Hmm. Yep, this is a keep. We don't need a shock to have shock. It's not a necessity. card that shuts down my deck, unfortunately. So let's go, Chandra. Trust me, I Try have to take the fairy down. Oh, they're so cute. Don't make another move. Of course, I can't play instance, so I don't. Didn't uh, Dovin's veto. This is this is it as far as card games. Yeah, that, I just spend don't a lot worry. of time playing Magic and everything this. here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. There's not other card games that I really play. I am not. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm glad they didn't tuck Chandra. annoying this is hardly my worst defeat I 
Why not I've double fry? Why am I double frying? I can't Chandra minus with Teferi in play. If you think I can Chandra minus, I can't. Teferi shuts down Chandra minus. friends time for plan B so yeah we're just making Making a bunch of two twos over and over. That's not a bad trade for us because that doesn't counter my Rao. Here goes nothing. Oh right, fry little Teferi first. I guess I was so focused on killing the big Teferi. Hi to my fiery yeah, friends. I guess we could have done that. Hey, that was uncalled for. The search for the unknown. That's real science. We have ran them, ran them out of cards, basically. And the good news is... Um, they haven't, like, minus their little to fairy ever. Because they've, they've busted no every single turn, so they've never drawn cards off of it. So it's just saved them a whole lot of life. Has the combo gone off in any games yet? Uh, we don't really have a combo. We have we have winged words that can do a lot of Say hi to my fiery friends. We will meet again. <clears throat> hmm. Or like yeah, winged words can do a lot of damage with when paired with uh, uh, whatever, a bunch of creatures, and we have done that. We have killed an opponent in one turn. I won't hide from the world. Any time is much more malleable than people think. So if they have an Elder Spell this turn, they're back in business. If they don't, this isn't they're, not, they're still not in business. Rally of Wings. What? Oh, I've done Sorry. Hero thing before. Talking and playing sometimes is difficult. <laughs> That's my excuse. Excellent timing. That's more like it. Hurry. All right, drawing with that first, so we have more information for our decision here with Rao. Because the other one's going bye bye. Obviously, this gets stopped by Teferi, so we have to kill that thing first. But we will do that. Enough. I should I should have grabbed Dovin's veto to have backup veto to protect Rao. Now what? Yeah, because we just have the one veto now. I guess I should have just grabbed Dovin's veto. I don't know. That was tough. Oh, right. We untapped two lands. I forgot we have Teferi in play that's untapping two lands. I guess I could have shocked and played. Like, Kaikar first. And still had Veto up. <laughs> I 
feel the fury of the tempest. Rowl emblem. Hold that thought. Rowl emblem. Get that sweet high car animation. I think we got this one. Pretty sure we got it. With Rowl Emblem. I could have sacked the Spirit and cast the other Winged Words. Four and one. I told y'all that we'd be doing a lot better post board in that matchup. We just had to go to sideboards. Take out some of those bad removal spells and put in a bunch of Planeswalkers. It looks a lot better. Oh, it's final boss time. Let's get that final boss playlist going. Here we go. Final boss, that five win dream still alive. What do you think about this deck, Hawkeye? Okay? Oh, you're supposed to meow. Keepable hand. Yeah, we were, what, weren't we 0 1 and down a game? I think we're 0 1 down a game. Sounds right. Yud, I like that. That looks good. That looks good, Yud. Probably Feather. So I like waiting on Opt. You know, like just casting Opt on turn one when you don't know what your opponent's on. Not, not too good. I like waiting on Feather until we know what our opponent's on. But I guess... Or sorry, Opt. I like waiting on Opt, not waiting on Feather. I like waiting on Opt. But I guess also, to be fair, we knew this hand we need mana as well. Okay, no, this is... Not feather. It's like maybe the escapist of ship shifts. Close shifts. Yuck! I can no longer stand by and watch. Yuck! I've got it. Uh, yuck. Suppose that's how it was. At least meant. that card's gone. For a little bit. I was hoping that would be Let's a little bit longer than that. Down. No, I am not making this up as I go. Sure seem like you're making it up as you go. Five color. They gotta be golosing.
Gotta be go listening. This is hardly my worst defeat. I should have shocked in for the steam vents. I've worked my whole life. <laughs> Hope we get something good. Um. All right, good. We got it. Because, yeah, otherwise they, they get that other 2-2 there at end step. Play another land. You know, they just have, like, that extra mana. Justice Strike doesn't kill Golos unless we have another burn spell to go along with it. Because Golos is a 3-5. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. Okay. Let's get chart a course. Golos, Zakama, Elder Dinos for Throwback Thursday. Ooh, Rally of Wings could be nice. That could be how we win this. About to ultimate this row. The weight is killing me. So I could. Uh, By finale, what, we get two, two, four, six. Yeah, we should definitely just finale. Set up lethal next turn. I think my opponent's going to be casting Nexus of Fate. This, this sets up lethal the very next turn, though, with Rally of Wings. I agree. Kaikar is more fun. No! Time wipe? I'm glad we didn't play the Kai Car. Brutal. They get another turn? Oh, because they cast that at my end step, right? Yeah. Ugh, brutal. Huh. I'm shocked to discover I lost. We can still try to find a flame sweep. Mm. 
Wow, what an amazing turn of events there. We were going to have lethal, and now our opponent has millions of creatures. <laughs> oh, Devin's Vito, you're too late. So we have 10 creatures. So playing, playing these things doesn't get us there anyway. Right, so shouldn't I just lead with opt in case we find more card draw? So what I can have one, two, three, four. I can have four blockers, which is still lethal. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I do want to trade Kaikar and Golos. I do want to make that trade. We still get nine tokens It's like so many tokens Please let me Dovin's veto something first Deck never ends. I never back down. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is killing me. Man, we were looking really good there, but then the Nexus... Time sweep. Whatever. Time wipe. That turn. Destroyed us. Hmm. We got some good stuff to bring in here.
Actually, they were playing Teferi also. Ugh. Guess that means I need to play, like, Fry. Because I can't really cut all my burn spells like that if they're playing Teferi. How do we kill a Golos? Besides us not killing a Golos. Yeah, I could play my own Time Wipe and Clarion. I don't know, we can't play everything. Ugh. I like this card a lot. I like this card. I like this card and this card. I think we can keep it. Yeah, John, we just we played against two red decks and they did they killed our mana creatures really well and then we just did we just kept on drawing like tons of six drops and having five lands and not so therefore not playing our cards and so we lost. That happened three of the four games with the other game us flooding out. No, I like. So the reason why we're playing Flame Sweep instead of Clarion is because Flame Sweep kill, or sorry, Clarion kills my Kaikar and kills all my like fl all my little flyers. Where Flame Sweep doesn't kill my flyers. So that's why we're playing Flame Sweep instead of Clarion. All right, deck. That's enough lands. We don't need the three lands in a row. I liked the one, the one Shock Land. No, we don't need any more lands now. Glad we have disdainful stroke, but I'm I'm not gonna just do I'm nothing sure. and hold disdainful stroke here though. Oh, yeah, he didn't understand that. Yeah, I didn't realize the Flame Sweep doesn't kill our Flyers. Yeah. So that's why Flame Sweep's pretty good. Sorry I'm late. This might be a bad idea. Come on. <laughs> Hope we get something good. You just let me know if you're up for round two.
we got to counter that Teferi, at least. Deputy of Detention is a huge, huge problem. I know that's kind of a waste of a rally of wings, but this makes it so they don't get to it. So they they basically just don't get to attack. Um, all right, so they're not going to let me kill Golos. All right, so yeah, now they're still... Okay, so they are going to let me kill Golos. No attacks. They kept on top. Time to test the storm amplifier. I definitely feel like I need to keep up counter magic with them keeping on top. However, I don't really have very good blockers right now. That's why I put a disdainful stroke in the sideboard. So that worked. down to 34 cards we can have Rao kill the deputy also to get the kite car back to make more creatures but do have to be a little worried of, of time sweep come on the card is so broken It's certainly possible that it's it may just be impossible to outgrind this deck. It's like every time I play against it, like with Unmored Ego, I Unmored Ego the the field of the field of the dead, and then the Agent of Treachery just completely destroyed me, and I feel like I need to just after sideboarding Unmored Ego, Agent of Treachery.
the end power carry the one yep odds of victory look good like a bolt out of the blue really wish we drew a spell in the last couple of draws anything cheap to be able to play here so they can't just easily kill Rao. but we didn't But I, I want Kaikar in play because Kaikar is a 3-3 and, and actually kills their 2-2s when they attack. I think that's pretty necessary. All right, come on, deck. Give me some spells. No more lands. We need spells. It's just all lands. Fifteen lands. Blech. We've gone through half the deck. We should have 12 lands. But the timing, our last four cards being lands, it's been the really bad timing. <laughs> have I considered being luckier? Our cards never end. I mean, our, our best draw is, of course, Blood Sun. Like, where Blood Sun is a redraw and stops these things from making 2-2s. Two <clears throat> and the thing about this Golos deck is they don't really play answers to Blood Sun. Or we're going to draw land number 16. It is good to play the lands out. We do have Explosion. Hey, Penumbra. Thanks for that 15 months. Resub, thank you so much. I'm trying to say no blocks. There we go. That gets us to sub number 30, though. And on rack, getting a sub number 31. Thank you so much, too, on rack. Thanks for the support, everybody. Even if my deck doesn't give me any support, giving me 16 lands. Y'all are awesome. All right, didn't quite get the final boss. Whoa, we got a card reward, a mythic that I don't own. So that's a really good league. It's a Kaikar, the fourth copy of Kaikar. I just had to use a wild card on the on the third Kaikar today. So that's good. Now we got the four Kaikars. What are the odds of that? You play Jeskai Kaikar? as your key card and you get another Kaikar in the rewards what are the odds of that it's like arena was like whoa you were playing you're playing Kaikar and you got four wins like here's another Kaikar so yeah totally rewarded we'll go back to the regular playlist there we go T totally rewarded so good league there, good league. Um, you know, didn't didn't go our way there against the final boss. So that's a tough match. That's a tough one there. Um, so yeah, cool league. So that was definitely worth it. Glad we got to do some good stuff there, and we did find out that Kaikar has a really sweet animation. Um, so that was awesome. We got to play it plenty. Uh, Kendis, yeah, I have your two donation decks, third and fourth tomorrow. I don't, I don't know what I'm playing first and second for sure, right now. 
But I know I'm definitely doing your, your donation decks third and fourth. What did we forget? What did we forget, good brother? Did we forget something in here? Um, explosion. I kind of wish I had a second explosion this time. God's willing didn't really seem necessary. I didn't really like the God's willing. We never really used it. Um, I want another expansion explosion. Honestly, because how we were flooding out quite a bit there, unlike all those games, explosion was really good for us. Like the times that we had it, you know, like six mana, just like kill, deal two, draw two. Later on, you know, eight mana, deal four, draw four. You know, we had time for it, and then we got to expansion. You know, sometimes expansioning stuff was was good too. So, I think I would just kind of like get rid of get rid of the gods willing, and just let these creatures die some, and uh, have an extra expansion explosion. You know, like for the late game, Rao was really good for us though. I really liked these Rao's. They were awesome. Yeah, roll reversal. Oh yeah, I so I started with roll reversal in the sideboard here um because yeah that was that's what i was thinking i was like okay well against the like the you know gonna have this for the field of the dead that we can take their field of the dead but then i realized we were just gonna be able to play blood sun so like we were just gonna be playing blood suns and, and like even against uh cavalier thorns like i was like well we can take cavalier thorns so it's not a huge problem for us but i was like well it's not a big problem like it was against drakes because we can just go wider if we just go really wide it's not really that important yeah the the rally wings was good i don't think i'd want i don't know if i'd want a second one but i liked that first one for sure i love the disdainful stroke i wonder if we need, need to go more disdainful strokes honestly I wouldn't mind putting a second Disdainful Stroke over there, getting the second Veto in the main, and cutting a Spell Pierce. The Spell Pierces weren't spectacular. There's a lot of times they didn't counter stuff. So yeah, I think I'd want like the second Veto and maybe get the second Disdainful Stroke over here. Because against like that Golos deck, Disdainful Stroke is just everything. I wish we had more Blood Suns. Um, I don't know if we actually really need Time Wipe, honestly. Time Wipe's like kind of an awkward card. I wouldn't mind just getting rid of Time Wipe, just not even playing it and just playing a Blood Sun. I mean, Time Wipe is like more for the Elemental deck or for Nissa decks. But maybe we can just get by without those and go in the air and everything. That's a that's a pretty narrow card. And just that that could be a way we could get another Blood Sun in here, which I think is is just a more impactful card. I think there's more Field of the Dead decks. And Blood Sun is, is a much more important card in those matchups than Time Wipe is in others. So yeah, maybe that could be a couple of good little little uh, changes. Yeah, Kaikar wasn't that great. Um, do this is, is it Mystic? No, I th I liked Jeskai though. I think I think the white. I mean, I think having white is is pretty nice. You know, like Devout Decree was incredible for us. Um, but honestly, Drakes is, Drakes is maybe a little better, you know, like instead of kite cars, if we're playing like crackling Drakes, like honestly, maybe crackling Drakes with murmuring mystics, but that was a lot of fun. All right. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, but thanks for watching some Jeskai kite car. Also leave some comments. I always like comments over there on YouTube. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching Jeskai Kaikar, and I'll see you for the next video. Jeskai Kaikar.